My vlog, my vlog, my vlog from Spain. I'm in Barcelona, in Spain, and I still don't know. I need two weeks and I still have to decide should I go back to Italy or should I stay here? Um, because it's so hard, like, here I have a place to live, but it will be so complicated because uh, I don't want to sit on my relative snack. And, but in Italy, there is no much shelters. So, I don't know. Barcelona is cool. It's better in some ways for living, but I don't know. I'm still fucked up, like, I have more than a week till my visa expires and I still can't decide between Spain, between Italy, where should I go, where should I ask for refugee and it's really hard for me, like, I'm here for more than, like, about three weeks in Spain and Barcelona and I still uh, can decide, do I like to stay in Barcelona, do I want to stay in Italy and it's really complicated and I'm really sad about it because it's a beautiful place but I don't want to spend live with my relatives because like I want to be more independent and I don't want to go in the like comfort zone and I think they won't be, they don't like me to be here for a long time so I don't know, it's a pressure for every one of us and I want to be like escape from my family, parents and be more independent and I still don't know what to do because Spain has more opportunities for me as a photographer and like, I mean, I'm a fan of Italy, I like Italian culture more than Spanish, Latina culture, like food language, so I still don't know what will I do. Fuck, it's really complicated and like, I wish I didn't have this like to choose between like if I had only one option I would do that but I don't know who else can help me I just waiting for signs of uh, universe and I think about it all day when I wake up when I go to sleep and I need to relax to observe like forget about it for some time to walk in a seat to find out to see people to Wish me luck. <laughs>
Как вам Барселона? Супер, там короче... Бассейном пахнет. А как же Николай? Мне кажется, это море просто пахнет так, бассейном. Отхлорированное. Отхлорированное море. Там очень огромные штуки. Мин, особо. Я уже, наверное, с умнадой. Всем радио. Куарто. Мы идем в Лидл за Эрик, Лидл. Ты знаешь, как немного испанцев? Кто писал тогда письмо? Я. Я писала, что мы This is Ina. She was my ex-wife, and her birthday is the next day of, after mine. She so. was your ex-wife, so you are married with her again. Yes, I just yeah. waiting for European citizenship. She was Thank Slovakian. You. Or <laughs> Czechian. Czechian. Ah, I thought you were Czech or Slovakian. What did you say? So this is my documental film about my life, and it will be premiered on all festivals. So what you want to say about my crazy life, about your crazy life? Oh, 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 yeah. yeah? <laughs> See. Eric Reba. Eric Krova. Eric Krova. Yeah, Eric Krova. Eric Krova. I love palms very much. I can't believe that it's not palm, but <laughs> show me a palm. Like this? Yeah. No, like a <laughs> Can you say hi to camera? Okay. Hello guys, this is my first talking video and I'm really sorry for my bad English because I speak really bad and I want to make it better so I'm trying so sorry for this 
and because I'm from Russia and like for me I don't have a lot of practice in English so for me it's really hard because I need to practice it every day so because I was raised in a family when my parents did everything for me I wasn't like independent because I had some restrictions I had some rules and like family did everything for me they like gave me money when I was like working anyway so like you know the separation thing with your parents is really important for your independent but this is the problem I still have in my 24 and I really sad about it and I'm talking to you about this shit so uh, like <laughs> I fully admit it and I trying to think what can I do about it because there's some like I had some therapy in my life but it wasn't for a long time and I really know that it will help me but I don't have now money for this and I think I need to start working hard because I think I still have some problems which makes it harder for me to be independent to start to work to realize that I need to work to get money even if I'm a like artist and maybe my brain don't want to fully admit it so Oh my god, I see a doll. Oh my god, it's a dolphin. Oh, it's two doll. Oh my god. Can I show you? Oh, oh, fuck. I hope you've seen it. Do you see it? Like I'm in a really good place, like on a beach with sand and I tried, like I want to make music but I know that I need at least my instruments back. I tried to be as a model, to like send my photos to some agencies but it's like worthless and I still follow some casting agencies so we will see but I'm just stuck in this thing and I realize that I need to start work to motivate myself every morning to do to stop running to start eating more healthy to start doing something instead of lying in bed to start looking for any source of money for the first time just to get money so it's really sad and I I finally realized that no one needs you in, in, in this world and you need to, like you have your own. It's really simple to say, it's really easy, it's really obvious, but I have only myself to help myself and I don't need to be dependent on anyone, I need, I need to, I need to care only about myself, I need to trust myself first and I need to make my life better myself without seeking without waiting for anybody's help and this is the pattern I was using all, all my life since my childhood and I need to stop it because uh, it ruins my life Всем привет на в общем Я выгляжу ужасно, но я еду в Ратушу, как это правильно сказать, в МФЦ моего района, чтобы узнать насчет карты здоровья, которую я должен получить, которую мне нужно получить без прописки. Я не знаю вообще, пошлют на меня сразу и вообще что будет, поэтому узнаем скоро. Впереди такая красота. Красота. Открывай новые места. Thank you. 
it's really important how you feel in a city in a space where you exist and you don't always feel really comfortable and even after spending half a year and some months in the same city if you don't like it you still don't like it and just i think i'm just super visual so it's really important for me where i live and i still know that делаем оливье, пироги будем делать, поэтому такой вот у нас новогодний май, два стола. Я, конечно, успел заболеть насморком под Новый год, вот такой вот лук. В общем, мы поставили тесто, и сейчас видите все Итак. Ну, оно поднялось, моя маленькая. Или, или мне показалось? Чуть-чуть. Чуть-чуть. Так, бабушка сказала, что его нужно подбить. Оно поднялось. Смотрите, какое тесто у нас. Его нужно подбить. Еще поставить. В глютеновой муке. И... Ну что, ставим обратно. 22 часа. Достанем. А подпивать зачем, чтобы кислород? Да. Все. Все, продолжаем. Делаем больше температуры. Ну, в общем, у нас такая вот вышла первая снецкие пироги жизни. Надеюсь, у моей бабушки первые пироги были хуже, чем у меня. В общем, обзор на наш стол веганский оливье. Вот такой вот неудавшийся остинский пироги. Пучин. Ну, такой вот у нас скромный столик, так скажем. Мы уже нахрюкались, наелись. Безудержно веселимся. Они полетели, они открыли новое измерение.